In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your course using the Thinkific platform. Some people get stuck on this stage and they're not quite sure how to structure it and get it uploaded and making sure you've got the thumbnails and all of the elements in place. So that's what my aim is to do. Now I'm going to actually refer to a lesson or a couple of lessons within a free course I created about how to create your own online courses using Thinkific. Now what you need to make sure you do is to re-watch the lesson if there are elements that you're missing. Now, if you haven't been to this channel before, welcome. My name is Romney, and I'm a best-selling course creator, and I want to be able to show you how to create your own courses to become either a key influencer in a particular niche, to share your knowledge and expertise, or to expand your uh, knowledge across different platforms. Thinkific is one platform you can use to host your own courses, but you can also use other platforms as well, and I'll share that information in future videos. But let's get into how to upload your course successfully using Thinkific and make sure that you structure it correctly so you get the best or most impactful course for your students. And welcome to this lesson about adding your videos, your descriptions and your resources on the platform of Thinkific. I'll start adding the lessons and information from this course so you can actually see how easy it is. What I'd normally do is wait until the whole course is completed, then I'll upload the content, but it's got its um, place to do it right now. So let me hop onto the dashboard and I'll add a new course and we'll start from there. So the first place you need to go is to manage learning products. So we click here and we click on the courses and you can then add a new course. So we'll do that right now. What we need to do is choose one of these different templates that we can use. And what we need to do is scroll down to see if any are applicable. For me, it's just a blank. Uh, so I choose that one right there. And then what I need to do is bring up the, uh, the actual course information. So that is the title. So copy that. Let's go back, my course title, and we put it on like that. And we go create course. Now what we do is start to add the content. So we build the course, and there are different headings along here. We can do a bulk uploader, which means that you can actually select a number of different files, and you can do it. I prefer to do it one by one. So what we do, we do the, the chapters to begin with. So we um, what we click on the where it says new chapter and we can name that so I would do this by selecting that and I copy that one and go back and then I an introduction to Thinkific now what we do is save it saved and then we add our lesson so we can choose a number of different things here so is it a video text a download multimedia presentation audio a lot of different things you can choose here. I am going to choose a video. So now I go back to my spreadsheet. This is where you need to remain organized. So I could do maybe the promotional video in there and that could be a good start. So we could also do this. We could call it um, overview of course so what we will do is select the video so we can select that so we then go to this one and we go to new course this one lessons and we go to the promo and we choose the final so we open that one and we wait for that to upload shouldn't take too long because it goes pretty quickly and now it's uploaded and what I can do is add text. So it can just be a simple introduction. This is introduction to the course. Here you can see the contents and what you will learn. You can add whatever you want to. You can change the bold heading. You can add 
different images, whatever you feel is appropriate. You can even add links. So there might be a link that you want to put in there as well. So what we do is we can go here and go save and it'll video will save successfully. Another thing you can do is manage video settings. By doing that, you can add the little thumbnail to it. So I will show you an example of what that looks like. Clicking here and what it's going to do is show us the different um, lessons that have been uploaded. So once we've done this one, so we just uploaded that first lesson. Now what we need to do is do the video thumbnail. So we can upload a new image. So if I click here and I go here, I've got my course thumbnails, which I got from, uh, from using Canva. And I can click on that first image. So therefore, that will be the image that shows when people are about to start the lesson. And it will come up in a moment. And then we just make sure that everything is all good to go. Then we can go back out of that. So when people go to this first lesson, when they see it in the course, that will be the thumbnail that they see. Now what we need to do is keep moving forward. So we add lesson again. We're going to do a video. We then go down to our spreadsheet or our Excel spreadsheet. And this is lesson number one. Why choose Thinkific? And we go here. And we add the title, then we select our video, and we need to go to our lessons, lesson number one, why choose Thinkific. So we open up that one, wait for it to upload. Sometimes it can take um, a long time, sometimes it can be nice and quick. So you can see this one's a lot quicker, and we just wait for it to upload. Shouldn't be a moment. And now it's uploaded. Now we can go to manage video settings if we want to, and we can do the thumbnail. So that's the lesson that's uploaded there. We click on that. We go to upload the thumbnail. It will take us to the course image again. And we want to go to course thumbnails, and we are going to why choose Thinkific. And we open and we upload it. Wait for that to upload. And now that will be the thumbnail for that lesson. Then we can add the text if we want to, add any downloads, and you can also make this a free preview lesson. So if you're wanting students, so we might go to this one, if we're wanting people to have a look inside the course a little bit to see what it's like, you might make that lesson free. So I'm going to click that one. You can also make it a prerequisite. Once someone purchases the course, then they have to watch that video, now we'll discussions and make the video downloadable. Now, if I go to this one, I'm just going to save this. And then I go to this one. I might choose that as a free preview as well. And I can come back and add more text if I want to. But you continue to do this. So I'm going to add the next couple of lessons. So again, we go back here. We're doing lesson number two. So we copy that. We go back to our presentation or our course. And we select the next video. So we keep going. This is why it needs to be well organized. And lesson number two, we open that up and we wait for that to upload. What I'm going to do after this uploads is show you how to add a new chapter. So when we're moving to planning your course, then you can keep adding those videos there. So I normally wait for this to upload, then I'll add a chapter and we add the beheading like we have done there. And so that has now uploaded. What we can then do is add a chapter. So let's skip ahead to this section. So we add the chapter and we go to our uh, planner here, planning your course. And then we update that. And then we save. So we've now got a new chapter. If you want to move lessons around, you can drag them and put them in different orders as well, which is nice and easy. And you can then uh, use the bulk uploader, as I said, to once you do a chapter, you can add or bulk upload the lessons if that's what you want to do. 
Next thing is the settings. Now this is where you can add your course image and description. So your course image, I've got one that I've pre-done. So let's go to the ThinkEvy course creation and that is the one right there. So I'm going to add that as my course uh, image and then I can also add a course description. Now it's only 250 characters, so it's not long at all. I'm going to do that at a later date because I need to, again, get a lot of this more organized, but I wanted to show you this process as we progress. You can go to the course appearance and you can adjust any of these icons just here. Course progress, you can tick any of these. So if someone had to do a certain requirement, so they had to complete a video or had to complete every video 100%, then you would tick that. Or if they only need to complete it by 50%, you can tick that as well. And you can do different certificates. You can then add page code. And I haven't done any of this myself, so I'm not going to try and explain it because I haven't done it myself. Then you can do admin, so you can add a person as an admin, and affiliates, you can add affiliates in section, and then the SEO. So you add the title that you want it to appear uh, in the SEO. So I might just use this one here. And then you can add the description for the SEO title and any keywords. So if you want to have, so think if it course and then you might have or comma sorry by comma uh, online course creation comma how to create a thinkific course and you can just keep adding them and that just helps the SEO on Google and other search engines to find your course now we can save all that information, but what I'd recommend is you go through each of these top headings and then add the information as you go. Now the drip, I haven't done a general, a, a created drip schedule, so it's where you um, allow lessons to slowly feed into your students' course so they don't have it all at the one turn. They can just slowly receive it. You then set the pricing. So this is where you can set a one-off payment. So it might be a course for $199. You can do a subscription model. So you can just set the payment here. It, this course might be, uh, for example, $129. And you set it there. Or it might be a $18.99 course. Whatever you want to set. And you can set the enrollment times if you want to or just leave blank for unlimited access so you can uh, save that and then you can also add additional pricing so you might want to add a subscription membership or a monthly plan so they're extra things you can do so if you can do a if you want to do a monthly plan so peak so customers or students can can uh, get different um, payments if you want to you can set two plans per month every two weeks so you can do the enrollment the buy button whatever that might be so you can set the different pricing options that are going to be suitable for you and those people that are buying your course after purchase you can add information about uh, different um, courses you might offer or different projects you can do and then finally you've got your course so you can do a pre-order you can click published, which means it then becomes live. So leave it in draft mode until you've got all the information completed. So that's, in a nutshell, how you upload your course content. Now you can add a resources section as well. So if we had add chapter and we had course resources, we save that and then we want to add a lesson here. And we might do a PDF and we're going to select the PDF from our resources, which is this one. And this will then upload for us and we can then offer that to the students that complete the course. So we then save, just make sure you save each time. And the adding content is very, very easy. And 
it's fairly quick. You can do the bulk import, as I've mentioned. Just work through each of those settings. And then once you've finished, then you can do what they call building the landing page. So let's click on that now. This is when we would go across to building this. So you see how it automatically populates the title of the course in this section here. Now I've created a, uh, a hero, what they call a hero image. So we click there and we're going to go hero image. Now I'm going to upload the hero image. So I've done one already on Canva, which is this one just here. So I will save and download this one. So I'm just going to do that. Then what I'll do, showing folder, we're going to cut that and we're going to put it here. So that's a hero image. I then go back to the course and we're going to upload. So it's a 1440. So go here. Let's go to think of the course creation. We're doing our hero image. We click OK. And let's see what this looks like. There we go. So now that has come up. When you see these buttons, you can also set those buttons. So if we go back here, we go to the banner. Sorry, I might have already been on that. Go through each of the ones. So we've got our main banner, and then we've got uh, our heading, if we whatever we want to change that to. Then we've got our hero image, picture in picture, if you want to add any of those sort of things, size and alignment, and we go uh, back one and we can go to the curriculum so we go headings and you can adjust all this information and see how it automatically starts to add the course curriculum when you're adding it in the the main builder that we were doing before so we go back here click back and one thing I want to just double check is coming down here each one's worth while just checking back i just want to find out where the link is so if we go the footer if we click on here and we can edit the banner course right there and it must be there must be a pricing link in here if i can find that and I worked out why I don't have the link because the course isn't live yet. So that's why there's not a link that I can do uh, for, to make this one available. So going to the course landing page or going to a buy now button, that's what will need to be linked up later on. But that's what you can do to add that information. Now you can add a button and you can add the link that's Actually, that's what I wanted, the course checkout page. You can link all this information to a different area. And you can um, delete the section. You can go back up here and you can um, add different information. You can also add the different headings. So if you want to add a different heading, you can also add that in this section too. So you can add a, an author author details so what i'm going to do in a future lesson i'm going to add my author bio in this section so it makes it easy for you to understand how to do all of that let's close this down we're going to discard the changes for the moment if i did want to save it that was important to do at that point in time and you can also um, under the basic settings we can have the course name. This is the course URL. So if you wanted to change that to be a bit shorter, then you would do that here. So it might be creating an online Thinkific course rather than how to plan, design and create. So you might want to do that. So let's, um, so we might do design an online Thinkific course. And I've got my instructor, so that's me. And you can keep it as a private or hidden course. And you can, we might just save that. That's a good reminder. We just make sure we keep saving things as we go through. You can also then go to the preview, which is just up here. So we go to uh, course as an enrolled student just to see what it's looking like. And unfortunately, 
it's not existing because we haven't made it live yet. So that's going to be why. So that's how that is all working at this point in time. I will come back later on when we're near the end of this course to show you the final look and feel of the course. And therefore, it'll be a real life viewpoint so you can take action as you're creating your own course. So I hope that video and those lessons were helpful. Remember, if you want to start a Thinkific account and you haven't got one yet, make sure you use my link below and you'll be given a 30-day free trial of the Start Plan, which has many different great aspects to it that will help you to get started with your online course creation. Uh, check out the links below to access my free course and everything's there, including a special outline guide as well that you can download for free. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're enjoying this content and I'll see you in my next video.